Hey guys, before we get into this video, I want you guys to go check out the link down there in the doobly-doo, the first one. And I want you to go check out Written in Blood's channel. He is doing a, uh, a horror-themed challenge right now. It's five decades of horror. I myself am not participating because I am booked up, as far as my TBRs are concerned, I am booked up all the way up until March. That's how much I have on the table, so I'm not doing this. But I wanted to, he, he asked me what I thought about it. I thought it was a great idea, and I asked him if he wanted me to boost the signal, and he said, please do, so I'm boosting the signal. So hop on over there before or after the video, whatever. Hop on over there and check that out and join his challenge. It's one book from every decade, from 1970 all the way to the 2010s. I think you guys would really like it. On with the video. Why? Why y'all do this to me? Hello everybody, E here. Woo Welcome back to another book review. It's another one, man. Two in a week. I don't want to be here for this one. Well, I can't wait for the comment section. We're talking about The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. I'm going to, this is my last, last Halloween theme. I only got through two <laughs> Halloween books. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know I did that Halloween TBR. I tried to warn y'all. I tried to warn... Let me get this thing off of here. Yes, yes, Donald. I know. I know you don't like the hat, Donald. I understand you don't like the hat. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I, uh, I tried... My, my, my buddy Gregor said, you're, in, you're an insane person for trying to sh force your way through books you, you know you're not going to like. But with books like this one, I, ke I keep telling myself there's got to be a reason why people like this book. There's got to be a reason why people are, you know, enamored of this. Why it's been made in the movies. Why people are, have, you know, they're fanatics for this book. There's got to be a reason. It's the same reason I read Harry Potter. I didn't see the purpose of that one. I didn't see the purpose. Well, not purpose. I understand the purpose. The author had a story to tell. I, I don't understand the fandom, is what I don't understand, because the Harry Potter series was a very basic thing, but I respect the hell out of J.K. Rowling for what she did for young readers. She got people reading. I even respect Stephanie Meyer to an extent, because she got people reading. I respect Shirley Jackson for cultivating the following that she has today. That's an amazing feat. I just don't understand the books. Um, this is a very basic story about a haunted house. Man, I don't know if I'm just... I. It's probably just because I'm so desensitized. Like, these are the books that laid the groundwork for all the... I, now, I don't like Dracula. I don't like Frankenstein. I don't like much of Edgar Allan Poe. I don't like Lovecraft. I don't like any of these folks. And this is kind of the same thing. The writing is so bland. Um, I feel like these books have been done better later in life. Like, uh, Jock Jemps with The Grip of It. Uh, Stephen King's The Shining. So many different authors have done better with this storyline, but this book is a stepping stone. So, I mean, I can't, I can't hate on it too much because I understand intellectually that if it was not for this book, we wouldn't have the other books. So I respect it in that sense. It just isn't fun to read. I don't know. I, I don't understand it. I, 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 I'm sure many of you have explained over and over again that you love it, you, you feel that it's creepy, um, you feel that there's a, uh, a deeper narrative. I missed all of that, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think I missed all that and uh, We Have Always Lived in the Castle also. Uh, I completely missed that and I still want to read the lottery. I can't because I'm stupid. I don't know why. I don't enjoy this author's work, but I do want to see where some of these, I, what these stories did to inspire things like The Hunger Games and Battle Royale and The Long Walk and all these other books that all point to Jackson's The Lottery and say, hey, this is where we get our inspiration from. Just like with Jemps and King going, hey, this is where we, this book is where we got our inspiration from. Um, can a piece of art that is inspired by something else be better than the source material? Oh yeah, at least I feel that way. Um, in fact, most recently, the Child's Play remake is leaps and bounds a better movie and just th just thematic experience, period, than the original Child's Play. The original Child's Play is very hokey and ridiculous, and the new Child's Play actually made you care about the characters. There might be some there might be some seriously suspect special effects, but you like the characters more than you did in the original one because you don't really get to know the characters in the original. Well, with this book, I, the, 
I, all the characters talked the same, all the characters felt the same, even though they each had their own. I constantly, constantly got Eleonora and Theodora, or Eleanor and Theodora, whoever they were, I got those two confused constantly. I didn't know who the main character was, I was lost. Um, and it took me, here's, here's a testament to how much I didn't like this book. This book is 246 pages. It is very big font for a book of its size. Um, if it was in a, if it was in a full hardcover, it'd be like 150 pages. Um, that's how big the font is in here. Um, the audiobook itself is only six, seven hours long, um, which is, I had to cheat <laughs> to finish the book, ain't gonna lie. I broke out the audiobook. Luckily, um... Don, thank you so much for Scribed, because had you not given me Scribed, I never would have finished this book. I was hoping something would come at the end, and then the ending came, and I was like, is it? Is that, is all I get? Okay, so let's let's get to the end of this, um, so that you guys, you're probably already raging at me down in the doobly-doo, and that is fine. I respect your opinion, and I respect the fact that you want to stand up for the stuff that you love. I respect that. I ain't gonna argue with you one iota about this one. But yeah, let me know what you liked about this book. Let me know what you didn't like about this book and expand on those things. Don't just say, I hated this book or I love this book. Eh? Either way, let me know why. Let me know what it means to you. Let me know what it doesn't mean to you. But until next time, I have been E. You have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.